the name rat comes from a meme from like 2014 that says that Elon Musk is short for elongated muskrat. Uh, the song wasn't meant to center around one person to the degree that it's been interpreted. I just thought that people would like the meme, <laughs> but that's why it was muskrat and then shortened to rat. It was a pretty clean process. A lot of times I think you start out with a song and it's kind of messy and you have to make a lot of decisions about which part of the song's aesthetic you're going to go towards and which parts you're going to give up. Rat wasn't like that. Rat was pretty early. I knew it was going to be kind of a like sarcastically sweet, overproduced kind of crunchy beat and a lot of video game sounds. And it kind of, it, it kind of was pretty easy to write actually. I come from scientists and atheists and white men who kill God. They make technology, high quality, complex, physiological experiments and sacrilege in the name of public good. They taught me everything, just like a daddy should. Things that I was taught just like a daddy should would have been um, kind of a almost, almost overzealous, but makes sense at the time, love of science and technology. And you were beautiful and vulnerable and power and success. Goddamn, I fell for you. Your flamethrowers, your tunnels, and your tech. It's not that I know a lot about Elon Musk. I actually didn't do any research for this song. I had no idea that it would <laughs> become what it is. I have no idea pretty much anything about his life. But he's a good pick for a symbol of tech worship because he's done a lot of work to be personable and to have a Twitter presence and to do things as a meme. And that is that plays really well in... Um, places like where I grew up near Silicon Valley, who, which really love technology. And if you're 14 and this guy tweets, I'm going to make a tunnel as a joke, you're like, he's the coolest guy in the world. <laughs> I studied code because I wanted to do something great like you. And the real tragedy is half of it was true. The tragedy was just kind of the slow realization that what you do with a coding or not coding, but a computer science degree often is pretty corporate. Um, it's very rare that people are able to find a place for them to do work that makes them happy and also uses this really fun and important skill. But we've been fucking mean. We're elitist. We're as flawed as any church. And this faux red West Coast dogma has a higher fucking net worth. I bit the apple because I trusted you. It tastes like Thomas Malthus. Your proposal is immodest and insane. Thomas Malthus is who we were learning about in my econ class. I thought it would be fun to hide that little Easter egg in there for people who are currently going through econ classes and have just read about Thomas Malthus and are like, man, he sucks. Like, he's a mean little man. <laughs> and I hope someday Selmer's rides her fucking train. I hope someday Selmer's rides her fucking train is a reference to Selmer's from Night in the Woods. There is a scene where you and another friend come across her in the library and witness her reading a poem and you bring your friend in and are like, oh, she's going to read one of her little poems. They're pretty cute. And then she reads this like paragraph long, scathing, does not rhyme, but has rhythm poem <laughs> about how she's so sick of hearing about tech god boy billionaires in Silicon Valley and how someday she might just take a train to Silicon Valley and start fires. And while I don't necessarily advocate for taking trains places and starting fires, I think that the game Selmers as a character and the creators involved are all really good examples of complicated moral situations and complicated moral questions. I loved you, I loved you, I loved you, it's true. I wanted to be you and do what you do. I lived here, I loved here, I thought it was true. I feel so stupid and so used. I feel so used. If you're making great machines that do incredible things, but they don't address the problem of society, which right now is poverty, right? It's not clear that science, it's, in, it's invention, it's innovation, but I'm not sure that that's what science is. I was your baby, your firstborn, the hot girl in your comp sci class. And I was Darwin's prep school dream, bred born and raised to kick your ass. I did go to prep school. I went to a, an academically minded and artsy prep school that was supposed to like, prepare you to change the world. And it was like this huge thing. And it wasn't until later that you kind of look back on that and go, was this 100% the kind of forward thinking model that we were all led to believe it was? Or is this line of thinking in general used to justify elitism? I fell for circuit boards, rocket ships, pictures of the stars. If you could only be what you pretend you are. When I said, take me to the moon, I never meant take me alone. 
I thought if mankind toward the sky, it meant that all of us could go. But I don't want to see the stars if they're just one more piece of land for us to colonize, for us to turn to sand. When we say colonizing with reference to like other planets, it's often thought of as this like cool, sexy thing. <laughs> we're all just going to leave this planet because it's like melting and we're going to go to Mars. And you're like, it's the same word. It's the same word for a reason. Um, so I wanted to just kind of draw that comparison because I think it's an easy one to draw and it sounds good in the song. Because we're so fucking mean, we're so elitist, we're as fucked as any church, and this bullshit West Coast dogma has a higher fucking net worth. I bit the apple because I loved you, and why would you lie? And then I realized you're just as naive as I am. Oh, you're so traumatized, it makes me want to cry. You will often get up to a point with an adult that you trust where you say, well, why don't we just do it this way? And they say, you don't know what you're talking about. You're naive. You don't understand. If you just had like lived in this society, as long as I've lived in the society, you totally understand why it has to be so fucked up. That's trauma. That's like pretty clearly trauma. The idea that there's a thing that's clearly right and you're so scared to do it because you've never lived in a place where it was possible is traumatic. <laughs> You dumb bitch, I loved you, I loved you, I loved you, it's true. I wanted to be you and do what you do. I lived here, I loved here, I bought it, it's true, I'm so embarrassed. I feel abused. The language of used and abused and I loved you and all of that in this song is meant to be kind of a see-through attempt at deflection. This is really a song about being complicit in things that you later regret and a part of that is trying to kind of deal with the sense that you feel stupid for being involved and nobody made you do it but also you were little so how are you to know <laughs> well i don't want to eat the rich i'd have to eat my heroes first and my tuition's paid by blood i might deserve your fate or worse but i don't need your goddamn money i don't need jack shit from you so when I speak, you bet your life my words are true. I think that those two lines together, the first one saying, I also feel bad about having privilege in society and don't really know what I'm doing. I haven't like figured out how to deal with this yet. And then the next line being, and also I don't need your help, was meant to kind of cover both angles of I would be biased in saying what I'm about to say. Let me level with you, man, as someone guilty of the game. I took the help, I took the cash, I would have taken your last name. So if any girl on earth should get to make a call about this, it should be me. And as I see it, you're a dick. I'm not even sure if I have much to say about this line. It really was just a little bit of salt and a little bit of vitriol. So fuck your tunnels, fuck your cars, fuck your rockets, fuck your cars again. You promised you'd be Tesla, but you're just another Edison. Cause Tesla broke a patent, all you ever broke were hearts. I can't believe you tore humanity apart with the very same machines that could have been our brand new start. The thing that is wild and has always been wild is the idea that for a lot of human society, the population was dictated by how much food we could produce. And then at a certain point, we were able to produce like more than enough food. You would think that when that occurred, the immediate next step would be like, and then they ended hunger because they could. And why would they not? But that's just not what happens. <laughs> And the worst part is I loved you, I loved you, I loved you, it's true. And sometimes I feel like I still fucking do. I lived here, I loved here, I bought it, it's true, I'm so embarrassed. I feel abused. I feel so used. I feel so used. Take me to the moon. Cause I feel so used. I feel so used. I guess this is kind of a song about being between worlds and going back and forth between the old belief and the new belief. And a lot of people who go through that in any capacity, it doesn't have to be the one that I'm talking about, um, go through phases where they want to revert to a time before they understood um, what things were. So, you know, you throw that in to kind of be an emotional thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Faux rad West Coast dogma was meant to be faux like fake and then rad like radical. So the idea that going full force into technological advancement is radical is um, a popular belief. It's not, again, necessarily true, 